Hello royal folks. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. A beaming Prince Harry stepped onto the red carpet in a navy suit and matching tie. His wife Meghan Markle, worn off the shoulder white dress by Lou E. Witten. Ahead of being honored on Tuesday for their unwavering commitment to social change at the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Ripple of Hope Awards in New York City, both smiled toward the bright white lights and shutter clicks from the photographer's pit. But theirs was not the only high-profile engagement on December 6. Hours earlier, 3,000 miles away in London, inside the gilded halls of Buckingham Palace, the Prince of Wales received guests at a reception hosted for the diplomatic corps, joined by the king and queen consort. Like Miss Markle, the Princess of Wales smiled for the cameras, glittering in a red gown by Jenny Packham. On her head, the future queen wore a dazzling diamond tiara. The night was the latest in a series of public events undertaken by the two royal couples that appeared to directly coincide with one another, occasionally on the same continent. Weeks of the dual camps jockeying for attention, intentionally or otherwise, has inevitably been framed by the media as a reflection of the ongoing rivalry between two boy princes who have grown into very different distanced men. It began when William and Catherine, in their first official tour as the Prince and Princess of Wales since the death of Queen Elizabeth II in September, embarked on a three-day U.S. tour on November 30. They went to a basketball game, visited a startup incubator, and attended a celebration for the Prince's environmental pet project, the Earthshot Prize. That trip was book-ended, and for some, overshadowed, by the surprise release of two bombshell trailers for the new Netflix series from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Harry and Meghan, for which the couple's representatives had at one point been seeking an estimated $100 million. Meghan also appeared and spoke at a women's event in Indiana on November 30, the day before the Prince and Princess of Wales arrived in Boston. Soon, the tweets and headlines were streaming in and sizing up what some saw as the latest skirmish in the War of the Windsors. Kate Middleton, Prince William, outshine Meghan Markle, Prince Harry in royal battle for spotlight, Fox News declared in a headline. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle winning against Prince William in U.S. tour, an article from Newsweek said. So what do you think, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.